everyone today we'll talking about lang serve so it can be taken as an extension of lang chain that helps you build out applications across llms the best part about lang serve is that it helps you to deploy these lang chain apps with minimal amount of code so being a data scientist it is very useful for me because eventually i don't want to design my ui and all it gives you the a default ui also for your app and eventually it's quite interesting to use very easy to use as well so today we'll be demonstrating how you can build a small lang chain app and then deploy it using lang serve so before starting you need to pip install a few packages that is lang chain uh, obviously lang serve all as you can see in the first command pip install lang serve all and lang chain hyphen cli once you're able to do that the second part you need to do is you need to add a environment variable for the token for the llm that you're using so I've already discussed in my previous video how you can load a hugging face hub model, how you can use the OpenAI model, or how you can use a local LLM also. So if you are using a local LLM, then this setting up the environment won't be required, setting an environment variable. But in case, in this particular example, what I'm doing, I am using a hugging face hub model that is Flan T5 large. In this case, I need to set up the hugging face hub API token, that is the read token specially in my environment variable that I have done already. I won't be showing you that because it's my API key, but just uh, go through my previous video on how you can set up a hugging face up token as an environment variable, you will get it. Now, let's get started. So first of all, I'm loading a uh, Flan T5 large model as an NLM, uh, and then I'm importing a few packages. The most important part is the API that I'm trying to create the fast API. So basically, Lang server uses fast API for deploying your application. So here you can see that I'm declaring a fast API object with a type title for my app, the version and description. So description, nothing but demo for the Lang server. Right now I'm saving it as an object test. Now in this application, I'm adding two routes. Routes basically, I think if you have been into software development, you already you must be knowing if you have basic idea that these are the URLs over which the different functionalities of the application will be available. So the first route is just the LLM part where I'm providing the LLM and this is the base one. So you go to this particular URL and eventually you'll be able to interact with the LLM with anything. In the second one, I'm deploying a baseline lang chain app using the prompt template, if you remember. So what I'm doing, I'm using a prompt template from template. What is the topic? Topic would be a variable that we would be passing in the application and then we will be eventually uh, expecting an answer from the LLM. Don't expect a great answer because I'm using Flan T5 large. This is just for demonstration purpose. That is, I'm not using OpenAI, but you can, you should be using the best of the models to uh, use for your Lang chain apps. So here, using the prompt template, I'm creating a prompt and then using Lang chain LCEL that I've already discussed in a previous video. I'm creating a chain prompt pipe LLM. So basically, this prompt will be fed to this LLM. Right? This is a LLM. you can take it as an LLM chain object only. The next route that I'm adding is demo where you would be able to get this application from template from template what is topic now i am declaring the main function for this particular file where i am importing uvcon i think i already imported uvcon so i can remove this and then using uvcon i am trying to deploy this app on localhost with port 800 8000 so i think it's a very baseline app as you can see there would be two routes one is the baseline llm and the other would be the demonstration for a small lang chain app so once you're done with this do save this file and name it something but not langserv or some package because it is a package name so eventually if you name it as langserv.py so there would be a circular import and there would be an error so name it like abc or the, as i have named langserv hyphen code but do save it in a python file only because if you don't say if you try to run this code from jupyter you won't be able to get uh, you won't be able to deploy an app because you will get an async error so that is why use a python file and save all the codes in the python file i think the code is quite easy to understand now we'll move on to the cli part so as as you can see that you need to navigate to the folder where this particular file is present where you have saved it and then you just need to launch it so as you can see that i have initiated the code py apy langser hyphen code from anaconda brown and the application is deployed now here you can see that it is also providing you the urls where you can find this particular routes that you have deployed so I, if you remember we had two routes one was demo other was base and it is also giving you the url for the application so let's see what we have deployed so do remember that 
you won't be getting your application the route that you have added on the exact name so if, if you are thinking the deployment is at localhost 8000 and the route is demo so actually it should have been localhost 8000 demo but you need to add playground also so once you add playground you would be able to see a ui a nice ui so here you can see that the variable topic that you need to give so if i write so if you remember the application that you will do what is topic I need to give a topic what is like say example assume it I give it cricket again don't expect great answers because I'm using lang chain uh, I'm using flan t5 large as you can see it gave a trash answer but eventually you can see that you have got a very very easy UI to use now and uh, it helps you to demonstrate your application that you've built so that's the best part let's check out our other app also that we have built uh, the other route that was base so I think the UI looks the similar. You can change the UI also. So this is the baseline demo. That is, I'm not uh, going much into details. If you know, I think you have a demo notebooks also present. If you can see that, it is also providing you with a doc, a default docs route. So if you check that, you will get some examples to run that are already attached with any lang server. So here you can see that. These are not coded by you, but already provided in the LangServe application. So here you can run multiple things. You can check out different things, how, how to use LangServe, what are different use cases and all. So this is how you can build a small LangChain app and deploy it using LangServe and then have a small, a good, a decent enough UI for demonstration purposes.